Hello, this is Tom from Bagtaste Studio, and it's time for a, yet another army showcase. Obviously, we had quite a chaos week uh, uh, previously with the Dom's massive chaos army, and obviously before that, I'd put up my Black Templars and Imperium force. Um, now, I do have a Red Scorpions force as well, which, uh, as you can see, is in front of you here. Uh, that wasn't in my main showcase video because I don't regard it as kind of a part of that collection. This is the Red Scorpions is a pure Red Scorpions collection. Um, so I suppose, why did I start Red Scorpions? Um, basically, um, we were planning to do a Bad Ab War campaign. Um, when I was reading through stuff, I just thought, do you know what, um, out of all the, you know, well, kind of loyalist factions, um, I really liked the look and feel of the Red Scorpions. Um, obviously, back when uh, they were in the book and they had, uh, you know, the Bad Ab War book and then and, and, and another Ford Rail books, um, they had uh, they had a set of special rules. Um, what it was basically that typically sergeants in Red Scorpions uh, kind of squads typically were kind of apothecary or at least you know apothecary trained. Um, so I took that as a theme throughout my army where I could. Um, obviously, it's a little bit more difficult in some of the situations because um, modelling it was uh, you know, they look different than the standard sergeant, obviously. Uh, but I think um, basically due to the rule set, because uh, essentially the rule you got by upgrading it to that was to have kind of like a feel no pain per squad uh, when you had uh, the sergeant as an apothecary. Um, so, but you know, even in eighth, I've kept that. Even though we lost the, the specific rule set for it, I've kept the um, I've kept the theme obviously because it still looks fine for what for the you know placement of the model. Um, also really liked you know, Cullen, um, you know, he's, he's a bit of a, I would say a slight madman uh, <laughs> on the grounds that, as you know, he's had many iterations uh, throughout the 40k universe uh, because he keeps dying. Um, well, you know, not quite dying, obviously he gets sort of uh, brought back and um, we'll go, I'll show you some of the models on that one as well. Um, so yeah, um, and also you know, they value purity above all, that's kind of their thing, so that's why the apothecaries are important to them, because they keep their gene seeds safe, um, and that's kind of why they sort of thread them throughout the chapter. Um, hence why you can see quite a few in front of you that are standing out in white, which are obviously the apothecary models. Um, so yeah, so this, this force has been very slowly grown, because I, I, I tend to take my time with the painting on these um, a lot, well, take a lot more time on it really than what I typically do for other armies that I've got, uh, mainly because I'm trying to make it look a little bit more um, sort of above average, which I hope I've achieved. Although you know it's you know your own, your own worst critic, so. But yeah, um, and obviously you know uh, the Red Scorpions do like their characters, so we'll start there. So down here on the right, we have our little bundle of characters here. Uh, so we've got the, one of the first iterations of uh, Cullen here, which is in his Terminator armour. I know, that, I, I believe there's a sergeant model for him or something along those lines, um, but um, I obviously I haven't got that one. So yeah, this was um, just Cullen here. Um, I think this is one I'm using the Bad Ab War from what I've read. Um, yeah, so he's got his Titan sword and a nice set of uh, ornate Terminator armour. I actually really enjoyed painting that. Um, I've actually got a couple of spare models of this due to a forger hold order mess up. Um, which was actually when I ordered some shoulder pads, so they sent me three Cullens instead, which was quite interesting. Although they let me keep them and then sent me the shoulder pads, so I can't really complain. Um, I'm pondering about maybe something, maybe making a couple of statues of him. <laughs> um, obviously, next to uh, next to him there, we have uh, Severin Loth, who's uh, a very uh, powerful librarian in the Red Scorpions uh, chapter. And when you bought him, you typically got him with his honor guard, which are the two guys back there with the axes. Um, they did like uh, so. The reason I painted the weapons red is because they had, you know, they were they were scorpion weapons basically, and I thought red looked a nice colour for them. And you know, they they they, they had scorpion axes um, and you know, scorpion swords and things like that. So I just wanted to do something slightly different with them. We have just over the back of the other librarian there. We have a, a champion, and then I, th I thought I'd get a banner bearer as well. My banner still needs a little work. I, it was the kind of the first one I properly tried to do with uh, a kind of a, a scorpion esque logo on it there uh, but you know I think it does the does the job we also got another librarian here just a standard one um, just thought it rounded out my force nice because um, I tried to play with a couple of psychers when I played this just because I thought it fitted uh, sort of having seven having a little backup um, but yeah so that's the, those characters and then we then I thought you know what I'm gonna add some primaris to this force as well so 
Over here we have the Primaris detachment of characters, so we have a, a, a captain in Gravas armor, a standard Primaris captain, Primaris lieutenant, and obviously an apothecary, because, you know, I mean, it should definitely get at least a Primaris apothecary in this force. He's got to look after the Primaris, so... But yeah, um, so yeah, they've got a good amount of characters. I do find that um, character-wise, they do, you know, I think Red Scorpions do like sort of, you know, having someone who's fighting at the front. That's kind of how Cullen dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, as with um, also their scouts die quite a bit, but I'll, you know, I'll go into that in a minute. Um, and at the back over here, this last character of the army is the Risen model, which is a Cullen again. However, this is his iteration. I think it is his third iteration. Um, uh, and obviously, you know, he got entombed, and then yeah, he's a pretty powerful um, Leviathan Dreadnought. Um, I, I would say his weapon loadout is probably subpar in comparison to maybe like the storm cannon ones and things like that but i really love the model and quite frankly he's got so, and he's got some really cool you know abilities and i've just realized he's around the wrong way which is embarrassing because i just started this video so we're going to flip him around <laughs> excuse me there we go um yeah uh because now you can see the front pads there so it's slightly more detail on the model um but yeah uh, he's got some pretty cool rules with regards to his claw and the you know and the the heavy bolter that's mounted inside the the fist so essentially if you you know during certain parts of combat if you i think if you get sixes on the hits you can choose to basically pile drive the bolter into whatever you're holding uh, which causes uh, d6 mortal wounds um however the, bol the heavy bolter is then no longer usable after that point but you know quite a cool little feature i think on him and he does have an aura of um, feel no pain around him, essentially. Um, six, six up to ignore wounds um, for anything that's around him. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, troops wise, um, I tried to keep it quite traditional to begin with. So we had some scout squads here. Now, uh, one of the things that, that scouts couldn't do in the Red Scorpions was to actually take camo cloaks because uh, Cullen didn't believe that they should be sneaky. Um, so the way I combated that was to paint the cloaks yellow um, and my theory is that they're not actually camo cloaks, they're just literally yellow cloaks that they wear to make them more visible. <laughs> just for a bit of a laugh. Obviously the, the standard scouts at the front don't need them because they, they don't have the cloaks and I've kept them quite, uh, so we've got a squad of bolters and you know, a squad of shotguns and, and so on. So that's quite good. And then at the back here we had the two, um, these were the two first units I did. So we had two tactical squads, so a 10 man. Just got a, a melter and a sergeant in each. And as you can see the sergeant has got his apothecary form on there. Try to pick up a couple of different apothecary models just to make it sort of a little bit different. Quite like, so I think this was the seventh armor one. I think this is obviously this is a fourth. Um, I think this is a Mark IV armor with some apothecary add-ons. Basically, um, I liked the headpiece on that one especially. Um, and obviously, we had a couple of rhinos at the back there. I managed to pick up all the doors for that. Um, and I think they look great. I really, I do actually love the uh, red scorpion doors with the, the kind of the, the wings coming out the back and the nice big uh, red scorpion there. But yeah, so that was actually the, they were the first ones I painted for this force. Um, it was kind of my first go at it, and it was kind of my tester model to see how I um, I would get on with painting them. Um, I actually followed a guide from, I think it was Apathetic Fish on YouTube. Check him out, he's a really great painter. Um, and you know, he, he's got some great tips for painting armies um, really well. Um, I then, yeah, obviously going back to my Primaris theme, pulled in some intercessors here. Um, this was actually, I think this was my first intercessor squad I painted actually. I think it was before, my, I, I, I mean, I actually really like the intercessor models. I think they look great. Um, I picked up, this was the Dark Angel set, I think, or the one that had the Dark Angel, just because I wanted the Power Sword down here, um, and I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it suited my uh, my army really well. Um, just, uh, so that's kind of the troops section. We do have some heavy support over here. Um, basically, I just made these guys up um, so that I could create some Devastator squads. Um, that's why they haven't got a sergeant with each. I do have a, one additional sergeant here for sort of making out another squad. Um, but because I typically either swap these into the uh, tactical squads with a single weapon or I'll make a, take the tactical squads away and run it with the scouts and the intercessors, um, I would uh, you know, just make either Devastator squads or, just, uh, or put the weapons about where I need them. Um, just behind them we have the Hellblaster squad. Um, I, you know, Hellblasters are very powerful currently in my opinion. Um, so I thought you know, I'm going to add one, you know, it suits this army fine I think because you know, there's lots of big high powered shots going in. And, you know, and typically I think that works quite well with this army setup that I've got. Now behind them we have a couple of uh, different aggressor units. Um, we have the Stormbolt one, uh, Stormbolt gauntlet one on the right, 
and the ones I did first, which is the flame gauntlets, which is the ones I wanted to really work. Um, uh, but obviously, uh, people who have probably played these guys know that they're so difficult to get where you need them um, to actually fire their weapons, um, in my opinion. Um, if, when you do, though, they, they can be quite devastating because, you know, it's a lot of auto hits if you get it right. Um, but yeah, so that's the first, they were the first one aggressors I painted and then after playing a game with them I thought, you know, I'm going to get some of the normal ones as well just so I can have a choice. Um, I'm probably going to expand them out into larger squads just to sort of try that out because I haven't really, um, haven't really tried out a larger squad than three with my aggressors and I think they might be quite fun to run them in five or, you know, five or something like that. Um, but I think they suit the Red Scorpions quite nicely because I, I just feel them going forward all the time and sort of smashing into the enemy lines. Um, likewise, at the back of my trio of uh, Contempt of Dreadnoughts. Um, now, the reason I did these three was because one of my original ideas was to have him... I actually did play a tournament once where I had Cullen and these three Dreadnoughts together and I, what I did was I ran the Iron Hands rules um, alongside um, Cullen uh, with his Filipino. Well, that's back when it was actually a stackable buff so we got, you know, so we got an increase to, I, th I think it was actually a five up Filipino pain back then because so we got his six up plus one from the other rules um, but yeah, but it was when it, we could stack it basically so yeah, but uh, the other thing is, I actually really like the Contempt of Dreadnoughts. Um, I think they obviously they are cut above standard Dreadnoughts just because they're movement, really. Um, and I like the idea that these guys run forward um, for the Red Scorpions at high speed and sort of smash into the enemy lines. And then, um, because I actually liked the model, I picked up a Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, it doesn't see the table too much. I'm, I'm not entirely sold on the model as a competitive piece, but um, I do like the idea that it's quite an angry Dreadnought and that suited my um, Red Scorpions absolutely fine. Um, I had some other elites over here. I decided to go with Cataphracti Terminators and that is the only Terminators I'm going to have in this army because um, I think they suit the Red Scorpion style nicely. Um, you know, I just like the idea they've got big heavy armor, they like to go forward. In fact, you've only really got the option to go forward on the grounds that I would say this is probably a more melee based one. Um, and yeah, um, I think, think Cataphracti look really cool. I just, it just, it just looks nice. Um, I am planning on probably getting some shoulder pads made up for these guys just to make them stand out a bit more. But I was quite overall happy with how the paint scheme came out anyway. Um, we do have one heavy flamer in there as well, and then we have the Land Raider Helios, which is actually, uh, well, I'll say patented by the Red Scorpions. They were one of the designers of it. Um, yeah, they, they, it was one of their ideas that they came up with. Uh, so you've got the so the slight difference to the pattern is that you have the Helios launcher on top, which is a, a non-line of sight firing uh, whirlwind launcher, basically I suppose. Um, and then obviously you've got your quad las cans on it, but no heavy bolter because obviously it's taken up by the sight. The only downside to that land raider is it's only got a six-man capacity. However, what I did typically do there was um, sort of take a small honor guard squad with maybe Sever in it, uh, you know, to come out and try and uh, smash the enemy lines for if it did drive forward. Um, and then one of the, my most favourite models for this army is the um, Cast Assault Ram. Um, the reason I really like this model is uh, it's basically, I, th I just think they came out so well. I think the colour scheme for the Red Scorpion actually suits this model really well. Um, I just love the dark grey with, um, with, you know, with some light, sort of light highlights brushed through it. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's the most, most efficient model in the world, but it is fun to sort of have it driving around and sort of melting things, but also the fact that you can you know, have a, you know, a massive capacity inside of it because it's a 10-man you know, capacity, but it isn't affected by you know, the size of the model. So you, could, you can put a 10-man Terminator squad in there or you, know, you can mix and match a few things. Obviously not Primaris, don't know why, but um, I think it would be, although they say that looking at the size difference, I think uh, there would, you know, might be some problems there. Uh, but yeah. And then the final thing I added, uh, which wasn't too long ago, was a, a knight, which is a red scorpion themed knight. Um, it was mainly, uh, I, I, I wouldn't say I would use it too much, mainly because it does sort of break the detachment rules for marines, um, because obviously you have to have a full detachment uh, from the same you know, codex with an all space marine, otherwise I believe you lose your um, doctrines, uh, which isn't really a good idea. Um, for Marines in my opinion. But you know, in bigger games, I would definitely pull this out because I'm sure we'd come up with some kind of uh, house rules to sort of get around that because you know, this is a dead, it's this, this is obviously clearly dedicated to the Red Scorpions and you know, he would work with them uh, in my opinion, um, just to, to, you know, in a game. So, uh, but yeah, I quite enjoyed painting that. It's a much different paint scheme to say my Black Templar Knights and the Darker Knights, it can't, obviously it's got the yellow all over it. Um, but yeah, so that in a nutshell is my Red Scorpion Force. Um, 
I am. My ultimate plan for this is to get this up to a fair size. Um, I hadn't. I haven't really got an endpoint in sight. I haven't done anything for them for a little while. The last thing I did was the Devastator squads. Um, but I'm hoping to maybe push through and get it to the sort of five to eight thousand point mark. I think, and just by adding a few more special units in, I want. <coughs> excuse me, my voice is just having a little uh, quake there. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, really love the Red Scorpions. Um, obviously, if you've liked this video, um, obviously give it a like and you know, give us a subscribe and click the bell button to make sure you keep up with all our updates that we're doing at the moment. Um, and if you've got any suggestions on you know, what I might want to add to this army uh, in a Red Scorpion theme, obviously, um, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So this is Tom from Black Toast Studio, and this is my Red Scorpion army. See you soon.